The TN250 notcher from Bailey is one of the best notches on the market. We've done a review on this machine. We found it to be rock solid. It's very versatile. It allows you to make notches on tubing that ordinarily would be either very difficult or outright impossible to do on other notches. But one of the complaints that we hear from time to time is the machine's inability to lock down on tubing smaller than one inch in diameter. Now, I understand that because in the fully closed position, the jaws only close down that far. Now here's a piece of one inch tube, it just barely won't go in. Uh, it's possible that you might be able to clamp on seven eighths, but not having any seven eighths, I know that one inch, it definitely will lock down nice and tight. Well, that's all fine and good for most of us, but what about the people that have to notch on smaller tubing, half inch, three quarters, even down as small as three eighths of an inch, uh, especially motorcycle guys or guys that are doing airframes, they may have a need to hold a tube that's smaller than one inch in diameter. Well, our friends at Stellar Performance also thought that this was kind of a problem, but they came up with a fix, and I'm going to show you that right now. Stellar Machine and Performance came up with the solution to the problem of the TN250's inability to lock down securely on tubing smaller than one inch by creating their own set of jaws. These modified jaws replace the existing jaws that come with the unit and will allow you to lock down on really small diameter tubing. It's just a really perfect fix for a problem that can really be annoying if you work with small tubing and want to have the ability to use the TN250 for its superior notching capabilities. So we're going to install these in our TN250 and we're going to show you how they look. First things first, I'm going to remove the saw arm and table. And that'll get that out of the way. And then we're going to take off the front plate that holds the jaws in place. That's these six bolts. Once we undo them, we'll take this plate off and we'll be able to get to these jaws and change them out. So we're going to take a 5 16 Allen wrench and a 9 16 box wrench and just undo these. off. Here goes another jaw. The jaws will fall out as you can see once you remove all the nuts and bolts. But we're not too concerned with that because we're going to be replacing them with the Stellar Performance units. I'm going to show you the difference in size as soon as I get this all out. This is a good time to clean your machine too. It's not something that you ordinarily do take this plate off, but you can see there is a lot of chips and debris that gets behind things just in the normal course of using this. So this is a good opportunity to clean the machine up as well. Give it a little brush off and we'll get to replacing those jaws. What I want to show you first is the difference in size the stock standard jaw on the machine is this piece here and the replacement jaw from Stellar Performance is this piece here so you can see there's a significant difference and that's what's going to allow us to clamp down on smaller diameter tubing just a quick note here take this pointer out while you can disassemble it with the pointer in, when you go to reassemble it, you're going to need three hands to begin with, so it's going to be a lot easier if you just take this out. It's not a big deal, just unscrew it. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. The new Stellar Performance jaws have been installed. <coughs> the plates have been put back on, and as you can see, we got a piece of two inch, 250 wall tubing. Nice and tight, it's right in there and the jaws clamp on that so you don't lose anything by using these jaws. You still have the two inch capacity and now we're going to see how small we can go. Well I looked around the smallest piece of tubing I had was half inch and there is absolutely no problem. That is tight as a drum. 
that's locked down on half inch thin wall tubing I think that's 065 so for that size it's really not that thin a wall but there you can see that the stellar performance TN 250 replacement jaws really do what they claim they're gonna do from two inch right on down now that's half inch I'll see if I can't scare up something a little smaller and see if we can't clamp down on that but that's quite an improvement I couldn't find any tubing but I did find a chuck key that happened to have a roughly 5 16 shank on it and just so that you can see this is tight this could easily if this was a piece of tubing I'm twisting it there is absolutely no give these jaws have this thing locked up in there tight and just so that you can see we'll just zero this out three fourteen you can't ask for more than that if you're gonna notch tubing smaller than three fourteen you're gonna be able to do that with a hand file so this is not something that you're gonna worry about forty five dollars stellar performance that's postpaid anywhere in the continental united states give them a call check out their web address at the bottom of this video and also a phone number and you'll be able to order these up for your tn250 this should be the first thing that you buy if you buy one of these notches it's an absolute hundred percent spectacular piece of re-engineering that really takes this notcher to the next level so there you go stellar performance replacement jaws for the Bailey TN 250 notcher when you're assembling these jaws it seems like a very very straightforward proposition and it really is if you pay attention but I just want to caution you that it's very easy to get yourself turned around and then say gee nothing's working I'm specifically referring to when you take the original jaws out these these plates here have an orientation and you have to really pay attention because if you put these plates on backwards nothing will work and then you'll say oh it's the jaws there's nothing wrong with these jaws these jaws are absolutely right if this plate orientation is flipped and I'll show you a picture nothing will work you won't be able to tighten this down when this is right this is the amount of effort it takes to actuate the handle I mean it's one finger so if you're not getting that then you have a problem something's binding 99 percent of the time it's going to be that this plate has been flipped the orientation is going the wrong way if that's the case then you're not going to get anywhere also make sure that you have the jaws in the proper locations there's two sets of jaws there's front and rear so they have to match okay take a good look at this and that'll show you how it has to work you can also pay attention when you're taking your machine apart but just for reference make sure that they're all going in the same direction and that each jaw has one bolt on a curved slot and one bolt on a straight slot and that will ensure that when you put everything back together it'll all go smoothly one other thing to watch it's very easy with the back plate to miss this hole if you do that the back plate the holes will almost line up but you'll notice that the bolts will be on a little bit of an angle so just make sure that you have these holes located properly as well on the screw thread and then you're fine and it'll go real smooth don't ask me how I know about these problems just uh, take it from me that I'm looking out for you